Hello everyone, it's me, Alex Axe, and it's uh, Thursday, December 7th. See, I actually know what date it is today. Um, so Thursday, pretty good. Um, last night I worked out and I managed to do leg day without destroying my legs to the extent that I can't walk, so go me. Um, you can see that nice blue sky outside and it's obviously really sunny because once again I'm, you know, getting bombarded with light. But don't let that fool you, it's actually really freaking cold outside, so I'm just kind of huddling in my truck and only leaving its shelter when I actually have to go test something because that's what they pay me to do. Um, but hopefully Thursday is gonna go well for you and you got over your hump day okay and you're heading for the weekend and you're getting shit done. Uh, yesterday, I, you know, I basically just spent all day yesterday yelling about fan fiction and stuff on the internet and kind of the highlight of my day, if you want to call it a highlight because it got kind of entertaining after a while, was like some rando just popped up in, in my Twitter thread and was like, well, you said this thing about fan fiction, but what about neo-Nazi rallies? And I was like, um, I'm talking about fan fiction, not politics, so I'm not going to engage in this discussion. And then I blocked them. But later on, I got to watch Nick Mamatas use this person as a chew toy. And like the, the, the most beautiful part of it, which is like a screenshot that, that I want to, to have placed in my casket when I am cremated, you know, whatever cardboard box you put me in, is <laughs> this person said to Nick, what's wrong with reducto ad absurdum as an argument? And just like, it doesn't get better than that on the internet. Um, anyway. Yesterday I mentioned fan fiction as kind of like the starting off point for that rant, and today I actually do want to talk about fan fiction. Um, I don't feel the need to have like some kind of giant defense of fanfic because I really don't think there should need to be an offen er, offense, defense other than maybe you should stop being a dick about people's hobbies. But one thing I was kind of noticing, and, and you know, for now I'm going to set aside a lot of like the, the misogyny and queer phobia and, and racism that kind of gets mixed in with people shitting on fanfic because it's a space that, that is not dominated by cis white men. But the other thing I was really noticing in particular with how this, this guy who was saying dumb things about fanfic was talking about is it's, it's very much like a capitalist thing that, that is, is getting this, this dumb shit said. Like, um, for example, Neil Gaiman actually popped up in the thread and was like, hey, by the way, I actually want a Hugo for a short story that was basically fanfic because he's talking about a study in em Emerald, which was Sherlock Holmes and Lovecraft fanfic. And the dude was like, oh, well, that's different. And it's like, well, what makes that different? Is it because Lovecraft and, and Sherlock Holmes are in public domain, so then you can actually sell fan fiction you write of it? And then I was like, I also do not see this person shitting on anyone who writes tie-ins. Um, so I think that this particular problem is like delegitimizing anything that doesn't, that isn't made to create revenue, which I have severe problems with anyway, because despite what capitalism tells us, humans are actually not machines that were just made to generate revenue. Like we have needs and desires and wants that are outside of that. And that's totally fine. Like if you, you know, have enough money, then why do you need more? Um, which I know makes me very weird. But the other, th the thing I really want to talk about, cause you know, when, when I started talking about fanfic, I had some other professional writers jump in is I'm noticing this really deeply uncomfortable thing where there's this frame of fan fiction is like your training wheels and at some point the training wheels come off and you become a grown-up writer and write your own stuff. And I have severe issues with that. If nothing else, I mean, a lot of professional writers I know actually still write fan fiction. I still write fan fiction when I have time. It's no longer like giant epic fanfics like I used to do, but you know, I'll do short stories um, just for fun or because I'm like really enthused about something and I've got this cool idea and I just want to get it out. But um, it, it bothers me because it implies that fanfic is a lesser pursuit and that of course nat naturally everyone should want to become a professional writer which I don't think is, is really the case. 
Um, also, like, Harry Turtle Dove, which, holy shit, Harry Turtle Dove, like, knows I exist on some level. Uh, so cool. Uh, but he, he popped into my, um, my Twitter feed briefly just to be like, well, you know, but if you can, you might as well get the money, which... I under, you know, I sympathize with, and to, I mean, never let, let it be said that I've discouraged people from getting the money when they can get the money, because get the money as an artist. Do not let people act as if they shouldn't pay you because it's your time and your time is valuable. But, um, there are a lot of reasons to write that don't have anything to do with being a professional writer. And if you don't want to be a professional writer, that does not make you less of a writer because writers write. That's all you have to do to qualify to be a writer. It just means you're not a professional writer. And that is totally fine. Um, I know a lot of really great writers who do fan fiction and they have like their own careers and they make enough money and they have absolutely zero desire to ever move into um, professional writing or you know original story writing for whatever value of originality you want to do, see Rant yesterday, because when you move from like fanfic, which is like just this sort of pure writing joy into professional writing, there's all this baggage that has nothing to do with writing that you suddenly have to take on and work with in order to be a professional writer. And if nothing else, one of the big thing is dealing with gatekeepers and getting told no all the time. And, and that takes a, a certain skill set and mindset to deal with that a lot of people don't necessarily want to do if they don't have to. And that's totally fine. Like, you know, I, I've, I've even told people, like, I don't want to discourage you from pursuing your dream if you really want to be a professional writer. But man, it's hard and you got to be ready to like bust ass and get told no constantly and still be able to keep going. And there are people I know who just write because they, they enjoy writing. And if they had to deal with that, that would completely kill the joy of the art for them. So that's fine. It's not like my ability to beat my head against a brick wall makes me inherently superior as a writer. It just means that I really like beating my head against a brick wall because I think someday it's going to get me somewhere that I want to go. And it's not... Th that is not a thing that makes me superior. Now, I, I will say, like, it's fair to say that the time I spent in fan fiction, I learned a lot of stuff. Not that I've ever truly left fan fiction. It's just I don't have enough time to do it. But um, it's also not like I couldn't have learned that stuff trying to write my original work or anything like that. So... Fan fiction is really not properly framed as a training wheel thing. It's a thing that you write. And any kind of writing practice is good because it's helping you hone your craft. But the end point of that is being better at writing. It's not, I'm selling my writing for money. That is a decision that you make. Now, I mean, as an aside, like, if you ever are doing writing that you could make money off of, for fuck's sake, get the money don't work for free because we're all in this together and if people work for free then we all kind of get screwed um which is part of the current problem and you know there's also like the 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 really gross well i i shouldn't have to pay you because art for art's sake and when it's somebody wanting you to do a thing for them that is work that is not a thing that you've chosen to do on your own and they should always be fucking paying you so tell them to go screw themselves but when when it's your own time and it's your own thing and it's the thing you want to do, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing art for the sake of art because it brings you joy. You know, not everyone who does watercolors is going to become a professional artist or has any desire to do so. They just want to do watercolors because they enjoy doing watercolors. Writing is the same way. Like, it's okay to just write because you like it. And I will also note that the, the community you get as, as a fanfic writer is so different and so much more supportive in many ways than what you get as a professional writer that I also certainly don't blame anyone who's like, why should I leave this behind for the brain damage of being a professional writer when I'm not going to make that much money anyway? You know, that's kind of like the decision you have to make. But like, for example, I wrote a fanfic when I finished reading Timothy Zahn's Thrawn novel and in the, the time since I wrote that fanfic, I have gotten more engagement from people who have read it than I have gotten over my entire 
professional career. I mean, not that my professional career has been that long, but it's like the fan fiction community is much more engaged and enthusiastic and always giving you feedback as a writer. And most of the time it's positive because if people don't like fix, unless they're really, they're real jerks or they want to start some drama, they just don't say anything. They just like move on with their lives. You know, I, I guess like maybe people who've paid money to read your work get a little more offended when they don't like it. But like that kind of supportive atmosphere and responsiveness is like crack to little writer egos. And honestly, like I still miss that as as someone who's mostly writing professionally. Like it's it's a really nice community and there are no gatekeepers and there's so much good stuff about it. You know, it's it's much more welcoming of queer and marginalized identities. So there, there are so many good things about writing fan fiction that I don't think it is anything negative on anyone who doesn't want to switch over to, to devoting the bulk of their time to an environment that isn't like that unless they really, really, really are in a place where they've dreamed of being a professional writer and they want to support themselves that way eventually and have a career, etc. Like, the two things are not, it's not, and, you know, I'll also say, like, as a, as a, someone who wrote fanfic, like, some of the fanfic I wrote, like, is still some of the most difficult and challenging stuff I've written because since you don't have to worry about, like, gatekeepers and all that, you have a lot more room to work with things. And, you know, it's not an either-or situation. And it's not like there has to be some kind of natural progression where if you just keep writing fanfic, it means you're not fully realized as a writer. Like, fuck that. Don't ever let anyone tell you that. It's, you are a writer because you write. And I really would like to stop seeing people treat it as like an inferior exercise because it doesn't involve getting money. So those are my thoughts on that. I actually have some other thoughts about fan fiction, but we're now at like 12 minutes, so I'm gonna stop for now and then maybe we can talk more about fan fiction later. Um, thank you for listening and do the like, share, and subscribe thing and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.